वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ माइक्रोकंट्रोलर 8051 वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू डेटा ट्रांसफर इंस्ट्रक्शंस ऑफ माइक्रोकंट्रोलर 8051 माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स विद माइक्रोकंट्रोलर 8051 फॉर डेटा ट्रांसफर वी हैव थ्री कैटेगरीज ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शंस वन इज मूव इंस्ट्रक्शन सी मूव इज हैविंग वेरियस फॉर्मेट्स ऑफ डेटा ट्रांसफर व्हाई द रीजन इज विद माइक्रोकंट्रोलर 8051 वी हैव four categories of memories one is internal ram second is internal rom third is external ram and fourth is external rom so for various data transfers we have formats of move instruction that is one category second is push and pop push and pop that we do it with respect to stack pointer pointed inside internal ram so for that we have push and pop instruction which will push data on to stack and pop will take data from this stack so that is second category and third category that is the regarding exchange so with exchange we can exchange the data of resistors that even i'll explain you in this video so let us see all those instructions along with example so that will gives you more clarity so here my dear students first of all i'll be explaining you move instructions so when you have move at that time you will be transferring data from one location to another location let us have various examples and formats so first of all when you write move a comma hash 50h what you do is immediately you will be copying this content inside accumulator when you write move a comma r1 what you do is you will be transferring r1 inside accumulator when you write move a comma 50h what you do is here we are not writing hash means this is internal ram's memory location so internal ram with memory location 50 hex is having whatever contained that you will be moving inside accumulator so when you don't write hash it will be considering internal ram's address here my dear students when you write move a comma at the rate r1 at the rate explains now r1 is pointing ram location so for example if r1 is 15 hex then 15 hex that is ram's address and at that address whatever data is there that you will be moving inside accumulator so at the rate means r1 is pointing internal ram's address now when you execute move r1 comma a you will be copying a into resistor r1 when you execute move r1 comma hash 50 you will be copying 50 hex inside r1 directly as hashtag is there when you write move r1 comma 50 hex here you see i am not writing hash what it means now this is internal ram's memory location so at this location whatever data is there that will get copied inside r1 to copy directly 50 you will have to write hash now my dear students when you execute move 50 h comma r1 what you do is you will be copying r1 on to memory location pointed by 50h in internal ram when you execute move 50h comma 40h you see here both of this are internal ram's address so 40h internal ram's address is having somewhat data that you will be copying it into 50h internal ram's address data right so that is how you will be modifying the content of 50h of internal ram when you execute move 50h comma at the rate r1 here r1 is pointing internal ram's address at that address whatever data is there that you will be copying at the address of internal ram which is there at 50h here when you execute move at the rate r1 comma a you will be moving the content of accumulator into internal ram's address pointed by resistor r1 when you write move at the rate r1 comma hash 25h what you do is directly immediately you will be transferring 25 hex at the address pointed by r1 in internal ram here when you execute move at the rate r1 comma 25 hex then what you do is now you see you are not writing hash means this is pointing internal ram's address so at that address whatever data is there that you will be loading at the address pointed by r1 in internal ram only when you execute move dptr comma hash 2525h then here you will be 
loading the content of dptr dptr is of 16 bits of register so 16 bits of dptr is pointing external ram so now you are loading the content of external ram by 2525h right and that is pointed by dptr now my dear students when you execute move x a comma at the rate r1 what you do here at the rate r1 that is now external ram why the reason is you see after move i am writing x what it means now we are performing external ram operation so at the rate r1 means what at the rate r1 means now address of external ram and r1 is of 8 bits external ram address is of 16 bits so here my dear students you will be padding 0 0 over here in terms of hex after that r1 will be there for example if r1 is 1 phi hex then 16 bit will be 1 phi hex over here along with 0 0 padded over here so 0 0 1 phi that will be external ramps address at that location whatever content is there that you will be moving inside a so x is used for external ram axis when you execute move x a comma at the rate dptr then data pointed by dbtr that will get moved inside accumulator right so external ram is getting accessed over here by x after move remember this when you execute move x at the rate r1 comma a then what you do is you will be moving the content of accumulator at the location pointed by r1 in external ram and that will be as per 0 0 and then value of r1 as you should know my dear students r1 is having 8 bits external ram address is of 16 bits so 0 0 then r1 data that will be pointing 16 bits of data on external ram right here when you execute move x at the rate dptr comma a obviously you will be copying the content of a at memory location pointed by dptr on external ram when you execute move c my dear students now you are operating with rom c is used to operate with rom and here what you do is c at the rate a plus dptr that is written so a plus dptr that is pointing some address on rom that you will be copying inside accumulator right when you execute move c a comma at the rate a plus pc then here my dear students move c is there what it means here we are operating with rom and a plus pc is pointing address on rom at that location whatever data is there that you will be moving on to accumulator a that is how various move operations are there with 8051 now i'll explain you stack instructions so push and pop that is there with us push will push data onto stack and pop will take data from the stack so when you execute push instruction my dear students what will happen stack pointer will increment by one first and then whatever data is there that you will be storing onto stack when you execute pop you will be loading data from the stack in that my dear students first you will be loading data from the stack and then stack pointer will get decremented by one right for example when you write push r1 you will be storing the content of r1 onto stack how first it will increment stack pointer by one and then it will store data onto stack when you write push 2 phi hex what you do is now see 2 phi hex is written what it means 2 phi hex is internal rams address and at that address whatever data is there that you will be storing on the stack similarly we have pop instruction in which when you execute pop first you will be loading data on register r1 and then stack pointer will get decremented by one that is how push and pop is there now my dear students i'll explain you exchange instructions so in exchange instruction you will be obviously exchanging the data here when you write xch that is the syntax after that when you write a comma r0 you will be exchanging a and r0 so content of a will go inside r0 and r0's content will go inside a that is how exchange will happen when you write xch a comma 2 phi hex what will happen see this is 2 phi hex what it means 2 phi hex is pointing internal rams address at that address whatever data is there that will get exchanged with a over here when you write xch a comma at the rate r1 what you do 
you will be exchanging the data of A and memory location pointed by R1 inside internal RAM that will get exchange over here, right? Here, my dear students, one more interesting instruction is there that is XCHD A comma at the rate RX. Here, you will be exchanging lower nibble of mentioned two data. For example, when you execute XCHD A comma at the rate R1, what you do is memory location pointed by R1's lower nibble that will get exchanged with A, right? So for lower nibble exchange, you can use XCHD and remember this exchange instructions are operated with accumulator only you see it is operated with accumulator only it is not operated with other resistors directly like you cannot have xch r1 comma r0 right remember this it will happen with accumulator only so this is how my dear students various data transfer instructions are there definitely you will be using that in programming of 8051 so you should see this carefully and as and when you have some issues in terms of syntax definitely you should see this video so that you can have better clarification regarding how instructions are there i hope it is clear to you still if any confusion is there just post that in the comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video